start with David, please? I, I think this game uh, was, was exactly a, how I thought it would be. Anybody that's been following Canisius has seen a, a, a steady improvement every year. Uh, of course, we've watched a ton of games this year. They've got some fabulous wins. They've got way more weapons than they ever had. And they've got, you forget about one of the best players in the league, but one of the best players in the country. I mean, I don't know how many, how many players have 1,500 points, 500 rebounds, and 500 assists. Not many. And I can tell you, there's probably none that are 5 8. So, you know, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Frank. I've watched him develop. Tommy's done a good job of him. Uh, but again, you know, they're, 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 they're athletic. They're, you know, they can go with the big lineup. They've got some low post scores. They've got more shooting. They didn't shoot as well tonight as, as they have. Uh, but they have more shooting, and, 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 and I think the roster is a little more streamlined. You know, last year, they were going with a lot of different people. He was still trying to figure out, I think, where he was going. He had his four sophomores and one junior in the starting lineup, and after that. But now I think what you're seeing is a team that's got eight wins already, that I think expects to be in the top four teams in our league, and I think they have the potential to be there. Questions from the media? Tommy's conceded that Goldsberry is a chipping player and said he's okay with that. Anything uh, with regard to that, I would deal with at the league level. Not here. Are you pursuing the matter? I told you what I was going to do. Uh, I did not say that I was going to live well. I said it will be handled for the level. That's it. I want to talk about the game. Let's talk about the game. What can you say about how your team responded after that play, especially with the players in particular? Well, I, I, I told the players during timeout that the team with composure was going to be the team that wins. And we had to maintain our composure. We got teed up. Uh, they took the lead. They either took the lead or, I don't know if they took the lead or tied it. I don't remember. Frankly, two, three, three. And then uh, we went on a run. And, and, and we played better defense. We got better after that. But it didn't rattle. And it, was, it would have been a time to rattle, clearly. What do you say about Clarence and uh, his performance in the second half? Well, you know, he was not himself in the first half. He was not himself in the Niagara game. And at halftime, I really challenged him. In a big way, you know, this is, but you're one of the best players out there, and just just play like that. You know, I'm going to go to you. You just need to relax. He was phenomenal. Any more questions from the media? Can you talk about Alex's performance? How he wasn't as big a factor at all? Well, he was in foul trouble in the first half. <coughs> they they were packing in all the limited space. Just open things up for other people. When uh, when Eddie starts to hit some of those those long jump shots, is that a, a sign to you that, that he's feeling pretty good about himself? Well, you know he's he's an amazing player because he can do so many different things offensively to hurt you. Uh, he was cooking early, and you know, we just kept going to him. We didn't want to go to him exclusively. Uh, you know, we wanted to go to Ryan a little bit. We, we went to Franklin a little bit. And of course, we were going to Jackson. We loaded him up, so he was certainly one of the major options down the stretch. Because the thing with him is, you know, he's got a good shot to score. He's got a good shot to get fouled as well. Did they refer to you guys on the offensive glass, especially late in the first half? Did they point of emphasis at all in the second half? Yeah, that would be an understatement. I mean, they had nine and twelve second chance points in the first half. I mean, they tattooed us pretty good. Second half, they, you know, they only had five, and they had the one tip dunk that I remember, but it just wasn't as bad. You know, they, they, they do that. I mean, they're good at that. The offensive rebound extremely well. You know, they, you know, they can put a big lineup out there. Like I said, when you have Coles at the two and Frazier at the three, and they other two big, big Vasquez Simmons now, when he went inside him, he was buck 90. Now he's 220, 225. And Logan's and Johnson are wide bodies. So, that, you know, they got four little front line there that, is physical and, and athletic. You know, they're not big and and stiffs. You know, they can do some things and they can go get it. So uh, you know, I think our rebounding in the second half clearly was was very good, in particular obviously Ryan Ross. 
It seems that uh, Ronald was finding his range from the field tonight a little bit. Just talk about if he's able to even add some scoring from the field, what that means for your offense. Well, you know, it, it was really, I think, more of a function of how they defended ball screens. I mean, they were going under, and he could get the ball right to the foul line or to the elbow. And, you know, I, I encourage him to shoot that shot. He did it one big three, which, as you know, he's very capable of doing. And when he's wide open, he's got time. He, he makes threes, and he's making a pull up. But again, you know, 11 and 1. I mean, that's, that's Ronald Moore. You know, at the end of the game, the engineer's victory. Last question? All right, thanks, thanks guys. Yep.